Namaste everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have the pleasure of bringing to you a series of short videos that are recorded by my very first Bhagavad Gita teacher, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Swami. I am very, very grateful to him for his time, his efforts, and the wonderful teachings he has to share with all of us. All the teachings in these videos are based on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, and will answer some very common questions that we all might have about life in general. I do encourage you to watch this video, share it with anyone you think could benefit from this, and also subscribe to this channel so that you get notified when the next videos of this series are published. Please enjoy the video. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. My name is Sri Krishna Chaitanya Swami, and I'm here in Lok Studio, the studio of the people, here in Sri Pandarpur Dham, very holy place in Maharashtra, India. And I'm very grateful to be invited by Pooja to present on her channel today. Thank you so much, Pooja, for inviting me. So today I'd like to discuss of the, the goal of life, the role of the soul. What is our purpose in life? Why, what is the purpose of the soul? Why are we here? As presented in Bhagavad Gita, as it is, which is translated by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, the founder Acharya of ISKCON, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So this is a tradition going back thousands of years. The Bhagavad Gita was spoken 5,000 years ago. So these are ancient truths that still apply today. So what is it said about the soul in Bhagavad Gita? It said for one thing, avyayam, the soul is everlasting. Natvam evaham jatu nasam Natvam neme janadi baha, natchaiva nabhavishyamaha, sarve vayam ataparam. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita that never was there a time when I did not exist, nor you, nor all these kings, nor will there ever be a time when any of us cease to exist. So the soul is everlasting. The body is here today and gone tomorrow. So the body will cease to exist. But what is eternal? That is the soul. So the body is changing and the soul is remaining. So the soul is getting out of one body and getting into another body. Birth after birth after birth after birth. This is called reincarnation. Just like you may be driving a car and the car gets old, so the driver gets out of the old car and gets into a new car. And then that's like changing bodies. The soul is going from one body to the next body to the next body. So what's the point of all this? Why is this going on? And, and what's the dynamic happening here? So each body in the material world is a source of suffering. We're actually suffering here. Birth, death, disease, old age. It said, nobody gets out alive. This, this is a, a situation where just suffering is built into the place. It's built into the equation. If you look at the can of the material world and look at the ingredients, one of the main ingredients is uh, dukkha or suffering. Therefore, it's called dukalayam, a place of suffering and temporary, ashasvatam. So what are we doing suffering in this, in this place, birth after birth after birth? It's designed to help us, propel us, encourage us to strive to reunite and rekindle that relationship we have with the Supreme, with God. Reunite. So this is called yoga. Yoga means to connect. It comes from the the yuj from the Sanskrit word yuj and yuj becomes yog, yoga to connect. So the soul is meant to reconnect with the supreme soul, with God. Just like uh, we have the word yoke. Yoke is when two oxen 
or two bulls, they're plowing the field. We have wonderful oxen plowing the field here in Pandarpur. So they're connected by a yoke. So there's it's connection. So our life, the goal of the soul is to reconnect with God, to reconnect. So that is done according to the principles of bhakti uh, through nine principal activities. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padasevanam, Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmani, Vedanam. Just briefly to mention the first three. Shravanam, to hear, to hear about God by reading Bhagavad Gita and other wisdom books and discussing them with saintly persons. So this helps us connect, to hear about God. And then Kirtanam, to chant about God, to speak about God, whatever we learn to share with others, and especially to chant the mantra. Man means mind, and tra means to deliver. So a mantra is a sound vibration that will deliver the mind and help us achieve this yoga. And the most powerful sound vibration in the age of Kali Yuga, this age we live in today, is the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam. And Smaranam means to remember, to remember God, to think about God, to express our gratitude to God. So this is the goal of the soul, to achieve yoga, to reunite, to rekindle and reconnect our relationship with God, who is also known as Krishna. Krishna means the all-attractive person. So I hope this has given some uh, insight and some incentive to inquire more along these topics. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. And also Puja is very qualified also to answer these topics. So if you have any questions for her or any questions for me, please leave them below. And please hit the like button. Please subscribe to this wonderful channel. And with the mercy of Lord Krishna, see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Namaste.